The Journal of George Q. Cannon is one of the most remarkable uh, documents in Latter-day Saint history. He was involved in essentially every important enterprise, and business, and activity in the last half of the 19th century. The journal extends from 1849, when Cannon was called on a mission to Gold Rush, California, all the way till his death in 1901. He knew the wisdom of the world, uh, but he knew the power of the Spirit working with him. He was a remarkable writer in both public statements and in his private statements in his journal. Brigham Young gave him a blessing and George Buchanan recorded this blessing in his journal. And this is what he said. President Young blessed me that I should be blessed in writing and publishing. And when I should take up the pen to write, I should be blessed with wisdom and the Lord would inspire me with thoughts and ideas that what I should write and publish should be acceptable to the people of God to open my mouth and lift up my voice and not fear, for I should be borne off victorious. He was a faithful servant of God, a great leader, a great father, great husband, uh, but totally faithful servant of God. And all the rest comes under that umbrella. The exciting thing about publishing the journals of George Buchanan is that this will be his last great publication project. That just as he spent so much of his life in writing and editing and publishing, this gives him again the opportunity to, uh, to share his thoughts, to get his voice uh, out there. We get the immediacy of his telling about his activities and his inner feelings, it's, it's quite wonderful. He was perceptive in what he wrote, and he was willing to write not only about his public life, not only about his actions, but about his private life, about his thoughts, about his spirituality. And, and, and I think that's one of the, 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 the key takeaways that um, Latter-day Saint readers will get from the journal. <laughs>